Fitting for the task to craft words with adequate passion to match the size of grace beyond anything I could grasp, but it grabs hold of me, so I hold on tight and hug it back. Surrounded by grace that surpasses the past, and it's beyond anything we could hope for or ask. How can words describe the word made flesh? The best way to understand him is to understand his death. What he set to accomplish and fulfill with every step. He was sent from the Father, God's gift to the world. Gave his only son to purchase sons and daughters. To make us one with the son and one with the father. Took upon himself the condemnation we deserved. Resurrected after death and he promised to return. Filled us with his spirit to seal our election and protect us until the day that we share in his resurrection. The size of grace, how great the size. The gates of heaven are open wide. And people of all kind are welcome inside. Should have been denied, but instead God replied. He said, in your place my son has died. His death gave you life, it's the size of grace. Innocent blood that was shed to erase every trace of sin from a chosen race. It's the great exchange, it's power to change. It's the gospel salvation for all who believe, all for his glory. Overcoming our hatred and sin with his divine love. The love of our God, gracious and kind. God became a man and suffered for mankind. The punishment for our sin was poured out on him so we could be forgiven and forever live. Saved by grace, the cost was not cheap. We can't add to it, his work is complete. The greatest gift we can ever receive. It's the gospel salvation for all who believe. Amen. Amen. From the heavens above, the one who is himself the essence of love. No contender, no pretender. Do I gotta remind y'all of his works? What, you don't remember? He made the universe in six days, super freaky like Rick James. By the way, what's his name? He's the Alpha, the Omega. The beginning and end, the one that went to the cross to connect us. Bang, bang, bang. They nailed in his right hand, then they put a nail in his left one. Bang, bang, bang. They nailed in his feet, died, and three days later, he's the resurrector. He's the one that split the sea in half. He's eternal. We wither like a piece of grass. He's the man while possessing the fullness of the deity. Did I mention that he's in me? Hey, yo, check it. I hope you don't think I'm talking about me. I'm only human. Think, fam, who else could it be? I mean, I spit a couple bars and maybe blaze a show. They should know I'm not able to save your soul. That's preposterous. Who I'm speaking of, yo, it's obvious. The one that can breathe and destroy your whole metropolis. He don't need to wait for the apocalypse. Why? He's the object of it. Dude is ill. You gotta love it. Read Galatians, fam. He became a man to give us the blessings of Abraham. He dwelt before me, and when he came, we beheld his glory. He gave us his word, revealing himself, and it tells the story. Bang, bang, bang. He knocks on the door of your heart. Man, when you gonna let him in? Bang, bang, bang. Soldiers, they tore him apart, spilling blood so he could be the medicine, so we could count ourselves dead to sin and alive to God, so he can live inside our hearts. He's the one who became a definite curse, died for sin, then he resurrected the first, fruit from among the dead for the church, to accept the new birth. He's exalted above heaven and earth. He's the universe's director. He's coming soon with fire under his feet, yo. Here comes the hot stepper. I'm the soul of the earth, he got pepper. He is the rock of the church. Me, I'm the rock ripper. He is the flock shepherd. By the way, New Jerusalem is the holy city, not Mecca. He is the radiance of God's glory. He is the one saving our lives from becoming a side story. He's the image of the invisible. Came into the physical to teach us of a kingdom that is spiritual. Bang, bang, bang. I murder my flesh. He died when I was the one deserving of death. Bang, bang, bang. I bang on my old man to keep him in the grave. That's the program because of him who defeated the grave. He is the way, truth, and life which freely he gave and pleased him to save those the heavenly father chose. It is he for whom nothing is impossible. Yo, I want to introduce to y'all the lion and Judah, the universe is superstar.
Esau, the bread of life and the living water, the one that dwells high, high on the holy hill, who abides in the Father. He is the one that has life in himself. He exists without the help of anything or anyone else. He's the mediator, the creator, meet the maker, life alleviator. He's the savior. I now introduce the one that needs no introduction. Stand up on your feet if you love him with hands raised. His name is worthy of praise. He's the meaning of life. Introducing Jesus the Christ. In every way, my 19 years means little. Because though the leaves change, I continue to struggle with things that belittle me. And even though when I know the remedy, I choose to ignore his plea. I see you. Your struggle with perfection you claimed you outgrew. Still trying to fill Messiah-sized shoes. Still running from the monsters you claimed you outgrew. I see you and you're so bright. So why are you defined by screaming, come one, come all. I'm healed, I'm all right. I see you. I see you. My little dreamer. A world so perfect in your head, you run deeper, and you forget who holds it, your redeemer. I see what you don't show, what you try to forget you know, even in the farthest places that you go. My child, my young lady, my woman, never have you been alone. There is no ugly within you, no human condition where our relationship would be null, void, and withdrew. There is no area of darkness my grace could not ensue. My young lady, I have always seen you through. So please stop saying, I will not unwind, because I will not let my world rewind, because God, Abba Father, my life has been so unkind. How can I move on when everything I knew all that I was is suddenly gone? My child, when turmoil came, Tore you to shreds, now what your life, what it became. Please come out of your shame. Please, shattered soul. Believing that in wholeness you would ever have to abstain. Please come out of your shame. Do not just see men to blame. I sat and I still sit waiting for the first year that you ever cried, anticipating, waiting to be your fortress from the darkness that tried to swallow you in lies. I do not, I did not get on that cross to die, nor do I continue at your door to knock without already holding you, already knowing why. Hmm. I promise the pieces that you see is the puzzle I have designed. My child, I've given you little hands to fit in mine. Young woman, where there's corruption, I am kind. Where there's lies, I am not blind. Where there's loneliness, I've never left you behind. Woman, by your scars, you will not be defined. But you will find in your wounds and in mine, no worries, you're being refined. gospel sounds in ears like mine, well acquainted with pain and strained relationships, friendships that suffer from long distances, or even worse, they get severed from something more severe, and he still hasn't wiped away all my tears yet, my cheeks get wet every now and then, even when I give my best, I know I fall short, I get scared when the ball's in my court, focused on my performance, Wretched and poor, it makes the message more real when I preach it. I'm not there yet, so I'm reaching, reaching for a goal to stand before my king and be speechless. Then, never again, will I question if his grace is sufficient to cover my sin. Cause death is gone, and all the effects of evil and wrong will be conquered when his kingdom comes. So this is my hope and my prayer. The air that I breathe in eternity with lungs that never fail me. If it pleases my Lord, and only by your grace, use my life till it's poured out for your sake. 
Until then I'll remain where you have me With joy when I feel unhappy And a peace that surpasses all my understanding My life is in the hands of your love everlasting Lady, I've been tripping. Is it you or is it me? Was this just not meant to be? Or was it in my destiny? I won't let these thoughts get the best of me. Where I'm from, they used to crack these him we wine hard, so forgive me if I wine hard. Fenced into my pen and pad, thoughts from Lombard. Fiends on the intersection, every boulevard of broken dreams. Dreams start to seem far fetched, but God's my quarterback, so of course I'm gonna catch everything they throw at me. Though they slandered me with battery like CNN reporters. I never let a face be like it did Terrell Owens, cause they wanna take asunder. Make it even easier if you sleep up on your slumber. Cause I'm trying to take moms on vacation, even though she bought the PlayStation like two years late then. At least she always kept the bills paid in, kept my meals made when she was working hard, striving for a degree in this cold society. Trying to add flavor to Portland's blend scene, we need that variety. She always inspired me. Defining diversity through her adversity is always inside of me. Heart of a warrior, soul of a queen. Her blood flows through my veins, created a king. And I'm coming for my brain. Sword with the crown. Throw from the sword, I should separate it now. Never throw in the towel. Use it to wipe my brow. How does that sound? <laughs> Uncertain about where I was going. Not knowing, lost hoping what I was doing was not helping. I need some direction. At this intersection between light and spices, it was like I was driving with no insurance or license. When God was in my passion to see it all along with a map, changing my path, planning my steps, guiding my quest. He said, West, I never left. So turn right, and then you'll realize Christ is in your life. So I stopped at that red hexagon before journeying on. Then I drove as if my brakes were non-existent. In my rearview mirror, images of friendships that had ended. All in God's plan to move within. Forgive me for my sins for the past years. Place me around the right peers who don't need weed or bears to commandeer and persevere forward. <laughs> and never look back. Despite of my mishaps, minor setbacks, God was just setting me up for the perfect comeback here at Warner Pack. <laughs> so look where I'm at, but focus where I'm going. See, God never left, I just had my eyes open. Nah, I didn't have my eyes open. Scoping all his blessings, instead I was stressing, but he led me to a peace on earth. So I guess it's safe to say, I found my direction. There's so many different religions. I don't have the time to name them. Is each one a different road that is made from the same pavement? Does every road out there go to the same destination? Does every religion offer us the same salvation? Can mankind make an image of a God and be convinced that the God that they imagine in their mind is a God that exists? But if God made man, how can man make a God and make a claim that God is confined to fit within a frame? How can mankind decide how God should be identified? Can you alter the truth if you accept or deny? Do the stars disappear when the blind look at the sky or do they simply fail to see what was there the whole time? Is this flesh all that we have? Is life over when we die? Is this rotting body all that we got? Is there a soul inside? Is there no absolutes in this life? No truth, no wrong, no right, no dark, no light, no. If God is love, why does he allow the hatred? If he wiped out the wicked, the whole earth would be vacant. He is our breath of life, but our sin suffocated and separated. This necessitated resuscitation for spiritual respiration and reconciliation to recognize our desperation for restoration from the devastation of sin's domination. Who can save us? To God alone belongs salvation. Yes, to God alone belongs salvation. Earth and to come to the earth to jump in the earth, redeeming his people, what was it worth? For the son to purchase the church, look at what had occurred. The one that deserves all of our worship was murdered, but it took the blood of the firstborn to suffer the worst of humanity and our depravity for us to come into the family. The son of God had to drink the cup of the curse. The wrath of God at the cross, the son was immersed. 
to suffer the worst because he wasn't reluctant to purge the sin of his people so his veins busted and burst and the curtain erupted and split in the temple and something reversed. It was the curse. He could no longer stomach the hurt of separation. He made himself nothing for the church from heaven to earth, the throne to the street, the earth to the cross. He did it for me. He made himself nothing. Christ Jesus, Son of God, second person of the Trinity, fully and completely human and certain in divinity, the image of the invisible God, infinite, given us all life and breath, he's the fulfillment of the law. Who would have ever thought that the creator of the universe would come to the earth to purchase and rescue his church? Jump in the human flesh to do the work. How could the one who was first give up everything and turn into a curse? It's sort of berserk. It's the Lord of our worship, born of a virgin, taking the form of a servant, according to purpose, for saving more, for making more than a purchase, but for saving the church, he is certainly deserving of nothing short of our worship. He emptied himself, making himself nothing. Who else judges himself only to save someone else from hell's clutches? A sight to be seen. Christ did it so he could ultimately accredit his righteousness to me from heaven to earth, the throne to the street, the earth to the cross. He did it for me. He made himself nothing. Why in the world would God the creator, divine in his nature, maker of heaven and earth, try to relate to a fallen humanity with knowledge of all of our vanity, knowing he would be involved in a tragedy, such an awful catastrophe? But why did he get off of his throne, left his father at home? Obviously it wasn't because God was alone. He came to his own creation, got knocked in the dome. All of his clothes stripped and they whipped him, the prophecy of old told of the greatest humility. In Isaiah 53, look what the Savior did for me. What a major epiphany. Why would this man come and get me? It literally cost him everything. Jesus gave his life as a ransom for many. Look at his righteous sovereignty. Christ is a prophecy fulfilled properly. We become rich by his poverty. His life is an offering given for man in exchange. What amazing grace and mercy. Worthy is the lamb who was slain from heaven to earth. The throne to the street. The earth to the cross. He did it for me. He made himself nothing. So that we could have him who is everything.